Hi everyone, so today's video is a little um, not as happy and um, go lucky as most of my videos and because of that, that's it's a lot harder for me to make because I'm so used to, <sighs> I'm so used to trying to spread the message of being positive and being strong and everything else and I still believe that 150% but um I've been having a really rough week this week and it's not necessarily with my tics or anything but it's with another side of me that I don't really talk about on here because I try to keep it about Tourette's syndrome but um, some of the other things that I have going on are also misunderstood illnesses and uh, not necessarily stigmified but sort of in a sense and um, I don't even know if stigmified's a word but we'll go with it. Um, so I have a lot of other things besides Tourette's syndrome and it makes me feel like a hypochondriac at times and it makes me sometimes feel like I'm going crazy and I know I'm not but it is what it is so I'll just get into it. This last week I was sick again. I get sick a lot. Uh, I have a very weak immune system. I have for a very long time and for a really long time I didn't know why. Um, but in December of of last year, so 2019, I finally found out that I have Lyme disease. I have been searching for answers about as to why I can never stay awake. And I mean fatigue to the point of being afraid to drive, um, sitting on the couch and being asleep, falling asleep while having a conversation with somebody, um, not being able to get off the couch because my body is so tired and no amount of caffeine makes it better. It's a tired like I haven't slept in years and years and years. Then there's also the immune system. I got sick constantly. I got strep throat so many times. I did get my tonsils out a couple years ago, which helped that part of it. I thought it was going to help a lot more. Um, but it didn't, and I just kept getting sick again, and I kept having all these doctor visits. I kept testing everything, and they kept just coming back and saying, good news, everything's fine. And the thing is, that's not good news when you're searching for an answer, and... I get it, like, I'm blessed that I'm, he I'm healthy in so many other ways, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that other than these other issues, my body's running good, um, according to medical testing. Um, but I knew something was wrong, and I was so close to giving up. I did this final test. I had to go to my doctor and ask for the Lyme disease test because I started doing my own research, and I know they say that that's the worst thing that you can do, but... I wasn't getting the answers that I needed and so I started doing my research on my own and so I went to my doctor and said I wanted to be tested for this. I ended up having to send my blood work over to Germany, and, which is ridiculous in the first place, um, and the test came back positive and my doctor told me that she's never seen such a high Lyme disease testing. That doesn't mean it's worse for me necessarily than anybody else because just like Tourette's syndrome, Lyme disease is different for each person and each person affects them differently. Like for me, my fatigue is the worst part of it and in my immune system, where for other people it's body aches that just debilitate them as well. Um, it just means that like right when they started testing it, it like came back positive immediately. So it was such a relief and such a relief so that I cried in my car. I got it in my car right before I walked into work and I cried in my car for 10 minutes because it was just what I needed to know that I wasn't a crazy person. <laughs> Because I told my husband that I was done after that. That if I didn't find out from that test, if that didn't come back positive, then I couldn't do it anymore. It was exhausting trying to figure it out and so many times not getting any answers and it was so emotional. So I found that out and I'm, uh, I'm going through um, some antibiotic treatment right now and it is helping. I'm noticing a difference, which is really exciting. Um, but there's still a long road ahead of me and I'm not really sure what that entails. I don't go see my specialist until May. And so we'll see how that journey ends up. But um, that's one of my things. And my other thing is, I think I mentioned briefly too that I had surgery a few years ago. I um, found out that I had endometriosis, which is obviously um, affects me in a lot of different ways. A lot of people have different stigmas about it and a lot of doctors don't always believe patients as well. This is another thing people don't believe people about. I was having, and this is... Um, I was having really bad pain every single month, and for a really long time, I thought it was normal. 
I thought every girl went through it because it's cramps, you know, it's what we do, and I was just having a lot of pain, and it kept getting worse. It kept escalating to the point of me being in tears in the middle of the night, having to take a muscle relaxer that I had from another issue, I think a tooth problem, earlier in the year um, for the pain to start to subside. And I knew something wasn't right, and I tried to tell my doctor, and unfortunately, the doctor I had at the time told me that it was just me being human and walked out the door. She literally waved her hand in my face and said, oh no, basically that I'm crazy and that the things that I'm feeling weren't true. And again, I cried. I called my mom crying. Um, I call my mom crying a lot. <laughs> well, not a lot, but for most of my issues. And I found a new doctor and thankfully they did an ultrasound on me and I had a cyst and um, they performed surgery and found out that I did in fact have endometriosis. Since then, for the most part, it's been somewhat under control, but I still have some really bad days where it starts to make me think that things aren't quite settled there and I know that's very possible that I could need more surgery soon or not soon but again and again um, so that's just one of the other things those are my two biggest like things and I just felt that it was important to be honest with you guys because that's the reason sometimes like my social media goes dark um, for my Tourette pages that's the reason why my videos don't always get made not all the time I will admit that sometimes it's me just being lazy but for the most part that's why it's It's because I'm having a really hard time moving in general. It's real. It's because I'm so exhausted and tired, and I don't like making videos somberly like this. I, I think it goes against everything I try to preach, and that but it kind of makes me feel like a fraud in a sense. And I know that's not true, but I want to be positive, and I want to tell you to keep going and all this stuff. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not in any kind of depressed mode I'm not in depression or anything like that I just when I get sick back to back because I was sick last month it just mess, messes with my head a little bit because it's another hit and it's another blow reminding me that this is just my life and it's what I have to find my way through and I have to find it the best way that I know how and so I just kind of wanted to get on here and be honest with you about some of my other issues since I'm so honest about everything else and really tell you why like that was why a video didn't get made last week and I'm so mad at myself for it but it is what it is, so I look forward to making more and um, being back to my happy self once the rest of this um, nonsense gets out of my head, my head congestion. Um, Ohio is not the friendliest with weather right now, so everybody's allergies and everything are acting up, but fortunately a simple cold for me is a heightened a little bit because my immune system is so bad. But that's what I wanted to get on and talk to you guys about. Um, I'm sorry it was such a downer. I promise I have a lot of really awesome videos coming up next and I'm also going to be talking with other people with Tourette syndrome and sharing their stories on here as well. So if you're one of those people that would what, what that would like to be, um, do a video interview with me uh, living with Tourette syndrome or even if you have a family member or a child with Tourette syndrome, I'd really love to do that. So please get a hold of me. Um, remember to subscribe to my videos so you never miss one and I will talk to you guys later.